He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. And we are exactly back on schedule, just like that. Boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you do live, live production, you just never know what happens. Some people run late, some people run early. So I try to be flexible and accommodate everybody. And I appreciate our guests uh, standing by and being patient with me because, uh, like I said, I, 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 I never know what's going to happen. So our next interview will be with a company called Broadcast Picks, and uh, they make a variety of uh, video production gear and have all kinds of neat things. I have not seen uh, their new products in a while, which is uh, one of the reasons why they're here. So did uh, someone actually give you a microphone? Or? They did, yep. No, they're on the ball there. I think it's just falling through. Don't okay, well, then you're going to sound... Oh, there you go. There you go. So this is Mr. Lee Griffin from uh, Broadcast Picks. Well, he's putting his mic on. You know, I got to tell you, it's really weird. Like, I'm doing the broadcast here, and like someone's been looking over my left shoulder since I've started the broadcast this morning, and I keep looking to s see who it is. And when I suddenly just realize now, it's it's, it's nobody. There, there's a, mine, a, a line monitor there that's not even my show next to me, and it looks like someone's peeking over my shoulder. So. Uh, Technically, I got I got to move that because it's driving me nuts, but not a big deal. All right, Lee, how are you? Good. Don Bain, the gadget professor. Yeah, nice to meet you. Are you nervous? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm I'm okay. Good. Tell so, us what you got. I see it says Roadie and Broadcast Picks. That's all I know. Yeah. So um, you're kind of familiar with a broadcast. I am. We do uh, integrated production switches. The way the technology is moving, um, hardware is getting easier to produce things, to manufacture boards. Cheaper to too. Yeah, cheaper, lower, quicker, faster, you know. And um, where Broadcast picks it is that we actually um, manufacture systems for workflow enhancements, really. Um, so our, our latest product here is uh, the Rodi, which is a mobile production switcher. Okay. Um, but in actual fact, it, it includes all the, the secret sauce of the broadcast pick systems. Okay. Um, and how that actually works is that um, it's got an integrated multiviewer, it's got a customized multiviewer, um, it's a switcher that integrates with Avid, with DNX HD, it integrates with Apple ProRes, um, it's got live streaming built in with Ustream and Anystream, social media support in there. What does it do for social media? When you say social media support, what's, what's going to happen? I I produce a show, this obviously records, now what happens? So social media is, you know, integration with Twitter, Facebook, um, moderation tools in your social media. So again, we're seeing a lot of people getting involved with the show. So to engage with the audience at home, um, people are asking, you know, to send in questions via social media on Twitter um, using specific hashtags. So we've integrated all that technology in where you can actually send questions in to a production okay. anywhere around the world. And while you're in the multi-view, you can actually see the question you and respond see, to it on can, Twitter? Yeah, you can see the question, uh, but it'll also bring up the graphic overlay. Okay. So we can say, you know, Paul from Chicago is asking a question, you know, how many inputs is the road? Okay, I like that. Um, the interesting thing is we've got full moderation tools over it. So we can moderate the social media tweets, remove the hashtags, remove the URLs, remove the links. And in actual fact, we support over 100 languages in social media. Wow. So not only English, Spanish, Chinese. What about Facebook integration? Facebook integration, we've got, a, we've got a, the ability to, to screen grab an image and save it across a network folder. So as we're doing a production, I can say, OK, this is a cool shot of, of this or that. Hey, folks, look at this. Perry left this. He doesn't know it. I got to return it though, but that happens once in a while. All right, go ahead. 
So you can grab a you can grab a screen grab, send it across a network folder, and um, you know your social media person can can upload the file. I'm, I'm finding that's uh, trending a lot more now that the uh, the integration of social media, uh, you know, it's beyond the point where we can build a switcher, a video switcher with functionality in it. Uh, everybody can do that, but now it's it's those those higher echelon feature sets that uh, are going to make what box I'm going to buy. Uh, you know, who, who can do what? So, well, it's workflow. You know, and, and it's all well today. It is today. Those yeah. things are, are taken for granted, but a lot, not a lot of uh, production gear addresses that. So it's nice that that's that's yeah. built in. Yeah. So what what we've done is we've taken all the broadcast picks hardware in our large enterprise systems, and we've integrated it into a mobile portable system, multi definition HD SDI, HDMI. How many channels is that? Let's let's start off there. So four HD SDIs or four HDMI on, on the input. We can also so it's switchable SD four inputs. It could be SD. HDI or combination HDMI. HDMI, or okay. we can have one analog input, like component, composite. Okay. For, for what about the ability people. to bring in uh, Ethernet, bring in a web page or yep. something like that? So we've got two IP inputs. So those IP inputs can be a selection of, you know, a PowerPoint presentation, a YouTube video, right. a Skype integration call. Can we see where the panels are, where those jacks are, what that looks yep. like? Yeah, sure we can. Okay, so we know we're four channels. Yep. So if we turn it around. Okay, can here. we get a close up of one of the cameras there? Yep. Yep. Right there. Okay, they'll zoom in on that, okay. So if you look over here, we've got um, HDSDI inputs with full-size BNCs. Um, we've got our HDMI inputs as well here. Um, and we've got, an, we've got an HDMI, another HDSDI, but also we've got a 26-pin breakout where we can accept in an analog signal. Okay. So for the old school people on beta SP or Betamax, you know, or U Betamax, U-Matic tape. They can they can input their tape into the system. Are they still around? Well, they're not really around, but the tapes. The know, tapes are around. Yeah, tapes are. Is around. there anything on those tapes? I don't know. I don't know if anything good is on the tapes. Okay. That's the thing. All right. Um, so we so we can take in a, you know multiple different uh, formats. We can mix and match codecs. Okay. Um, in in the system. Let's talk about system functionality. Uh, First of all, what's the what's the price point of the roadie? Twelve and a half thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, overlays, green screens, yep. character so generator. It's 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 a toolbox for the integrated production market. Um, so if we look at it, we've got two independent clip servers built in. So those clip servers hold about 60 hours of HD video. Okay, so two DDRs? Two DDRs. Um, the interesting thing about our DDRs compared to other people is that we work with the nonlinear edited manufacturers. So we support the native Avid codecs. We okay. support the native Apple codecs. So for example, you could take something from you know an Apple ProRes that's been shot on a on a camera and import the file directly in. Um, we've got two so two clip servers, we've got two independent CG systems built in too. But again, they're not our own CG systems. We've gone with a tried and trusted broadcast manufacturer. So these are Harris or Imagine Communications. We've heard of them. Okay. And uh, so we've got dual channel CG built in. Uh, we've got still stores where you can import your stills. Um, and even this, this system here, it's got full control over robotic cameras. So what we're saying is that we don't mind who you choose in your cameras. Whether it's data video, whether it's um, you know Sony, Panasonic, right. Hitachi, Telemetrics, all these manufacturers, we don't mind. We will control them. Um, we, we even control all the presets in, in the systems. Um, so we do all the white balance games. What artists. about the ability to do, let's call, I'll say, virtual sets, things yep. of that nature? So we've got built-in virtual sets across our entire system with up to um, eight different um, shot positions. So um, because our systems range from three input video inputs to up to 22 inputs, um, so you can, we've got a full keyer built in, our, our new keyer, which we just launched. Um, uh, can, do you have the ability to customize those uh, virtual sets? Yes, we do. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So we can take in, for example, um, you know, TJ file and, and, and match it to a background. Um, so if I've got you know input one, two, and three, I can match the background with an actual TJ file or, or something you've created in Photoshop or Maya or 3D Max. Now, is this a brand new machine, a brand new system? Brand new machine. Um, the interface um, and the workflow is the exact same across the entire systems. And actually, what one thing what we're launching at the show is the ability to show copy. So what that means is today I could be working in the production um, in a truck. Uh, but tomorrow we've got a, a you know something downtown small. But all my graphics, all my presets, my design is all on the other system. Well, we can we have the ability to export that show onto a keyring now, 
uh, plug this in here and reconfigure the roadie with all your graphics, all your clips, all your presets, all your macros, um, all set up. So you can just go straight away into another production. So the downtime is minimal. Well, couldn't you just save that as a file and bring call that up uh, you know, the next day that you're there? If you're working on show A today and you need to work on show A next week, wouldn't you just save that as a file with all the... Uh, uh, the things loaded in the DDRs and whatever the case yep, may be. So you could, yeah. But if you were moving systems, if you're moving between systems. So if you have multiple systems, yeah, I could multiple, okay, I could see the functionality so for that. Multiple okay. systems and you know you're right. Doing, so you're bringing all the artifacts and everything over. It's all pointed. Yeah. I, I get that. Okay. So um, you know, for portable and for live production, it's uh, it's a it's a great new tool. Um, okay. Introduced. And the price point on that is twelve thousand. Twelve and a half thousand dollars. Twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah. Um, we've also got um, integration with in stream um, and live stream integrated into the box. So again, it's one touch button to, to stream. Do I have the ability to go in and actually change the, the, the streams if I want to use, well, not live stream or Ustream or whatever? YouTube live or, yeah, you've got the ability to completely manually and put in your own CD key, your URL, right. all that information in, in, into the box. Um, uh, and so, again, the key thing to our systems is that it's, it's, it's making the workflow easier to use. It's, it's making it more simplistic to use because we're taking care of all the, the techie stuff in the background. What's the warranty with this product? Uh, it's uh, it's one-year warranty. One-year warranty, yeah. okay. Um, and then you've got the ability to, to buy a, you know, a support contract for right. a year. It will include all your software upgrades, tech support. In advanced replacement in the unlikely event something may happen. Sure. Um, so that, that's included in all the systems. Now, is there a cover that goes over this, or yes. it goes, goes in a case? Yeah, we've got we've got a cover uh, which goes over. The actual screen here is scratch resistant, so it's a it's a it's a tough screen. Um, it's built for the road. What um, uh, what's the weight? Uh, Twenty pounds. So here you go again. You basically have a, a carry-on studio in a box. Exactly. It's a, you know it's it, it's actually even designed to go open the luggage holds. Uh, depending on which airline you fly with, obviously. But, you, know. uh, you don't even want to get me started on yeah, airlines. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we uh, certain things I don't talk about on the Gadget Professor show. Airline travel is one of them. Cause so, um, <coughs> but it's 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 portable. It's rugged, reliable, good PA, uh, power supply unit. Um, we've even got uh, dual band Wi-Fi in the system, so we can stream wirelessly. That's great. Um, so you know we're not pulling Ethernet cables <coughs> around. Um, so that it, it's very powerful to do that. Um, and even the entire system, you can actually still run a, an old-fashioned control panel. Right. Um, but we've also got full iPad control. So we've got an app for 10 bucks in the, the App Store. And Wait a minute. I'm paying $12,500 and you're going to charge me 10 bucks for an app? Yeah, it's, it's Apple's. It's Apple's store. Okay. There's nothing we can do about I know, that. I know. I'm just... just um, it's my dry sense of humor. Yeah, I know. Very dry. The, the, uh, the, but even on the iPad, you've got the ability to pre-sell your camera positions, macros. Um, you can even control all the cameras. The, the versatility, the functionality is definitely there, and uh, nice piece of equipment. Yeah. One of the other things that we're launching here is sports replay systems, uh, which we don't have here, but it's an, a software option called Pixplay. And a lot of people are looking for very low-cost sports replay. Yes. Um, so what we've done is we've parted with AGA and with Blackmagic. I've um, heard of both those companies. They're pretty big. Yeah. And uh, Blackmagic released a HyperDeck Studio and AGA released the Ki Pro Rack. Well, what we've done is we've made a piece of software um, for both of those systems called Pixplay. And it turns any of those ports into a sports replay system. So we've the ability to, to mark in and out points and replay those in three different variable speeds. So, for example, that software option is four hundred ninety-five dollars um, for any system. So, if you've got a Black Magic and you want to add some very low-cost sports replay, all you got to do is just buy the software option, and we can control up to twelve of Black Magics or AGAs, even a mixture of both. Now, you can see this all in operation at your booth, I'm yeah. sure. Are there videos that people can go on and watch uh, yep. about the roadie on the website, or that would yeah. be just broadcastpicks.com? Yeah, it's broadcastpicks.com. Um, all the information is up there about the new Picks Play. Um, we're also launching um, a unit on, on the, called Skype TX. Ah! So um, we're doing Skype TX on the stand today, which is like an eight input uh, Skype call, which means you can call in from your phone and turns it directly into baseband broadcast video. Interesting. Well, Lee, uh, you've done an outstanding job describing uh, what your company 
has come up with this year, and I wish you a lot of success and, and luck with it. And uh, we will be right back with the Gadget Professor uh, after a pause for station identification. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain, Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.